All right, great. Thank you. Uh, good morning, Mr. Jeffrey Williams. My name is Judge Rashida Oliver. You are here on a bench, uh, a what we call our bench warrant calendar for Fulton County Superior Court. Uh, be aware that on this calendar you are here because you have been indicted under 22 SC 182273 for conspiracy to violate the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organization Act and participation in criminal street gang activity. Uh, I brought you forward so that you can be put on notice that for the felony charges that you receive, you are to be presented before the judge, uh, Honorable Judge Earl Glanville at the next available calendar that will be presented in courtroom 8F at 9.30 a.m. The date at which uh, you are to appear at this time, I am not aware of. But be aware that you have the right to remain silent and not incriminate yourself while you are there and anywhere else, anything that you say can be used against you. It is my understanding that you are being represented by attorney Ryan Steele and uh, the district attorney's office, Don Geary, are also on. So I wanted to make sure that you were fully aware of that. Um, Eddie A. Geary, is there anything else that you would need to add? And then I will hear from attorney Brian Steele. Judge, um, respectfully, uh, I, I think you've already stated that there's not a bond issue. Um, there's not a really a first appearance other than you're verifying his counsel. Uh, which would handle the, uh, the first appearance issue. One thing I want to put on the record, Judge, and thank you for giving me the opportunity, is uh, at an appropriate time, uh, we're going to file a, an objection or notice of objection to Attorney Steele. Uh, while he's uh, a, a brother attorney, uh, he has represented multiple people on the indictment, and we feel that a conflict would exist and we just want the record clear on that at the appropriate time. We'll move forward with that. All right. Anything, Attorney Steele? Good afternoon, Your Honor. Thank you so much, Mr. Williams. Your Honor, I do represent Mr. Williams. I've entered or should be entered an appearance as counsel. Um, my understanding from Uniform Superior Court Rule 26.1H, as in Hillary, that at the first appearance, this honorable court shall consider bond if the offense is not one that is bondable only by a superior court judge. I heard what you said as well, but the offense here is uh, Mr. Williams is only indicted on count 56 and count one, which is a criminal street gang activity and a conspiracy to commit racketeering. And both of those, I believe, are within your breast to set bond, and I would like bond to be heard by your honorable court. As and far as the conflict, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Thank you. And certainly, as as um, go ahead, Attorney Steele. I want to make sure I hear you out. Okay, Your Honor, thank you. And as far as the conflict, Mr. Geary, um, as well as District Attorney Willis, have um, explained that to me, and I believe that um, if they file the right motion, a uh, hearing will be held. And under the law, um, this, this is not an actual conflict of interest. It is a potential conflict of interest, which can be waived. And um, I believe that that will happen. All right, thank you. Uh, Attorney Steele, I certainly understand. And if, if I were sitting solely as a magistrate, I believe you would be correct with the, the, the stating of the law itself. But as I am sitting as Superior Court Fulton County de delegate, delegated uh, judge, there is specific delegation order for which I am operating under that indicates that the authority to set bail is similarly not delegated for any case, regardless of the charges involved that has been indicted and assigned to the docket of a superior court judge. And that is the order in which I am following. And so because I am doing so, I'm not at liberty to do a bond unless I have some additional authority to do so. And at this time, I do not. So unfortunately, you will have to submit your motion for a bond uh, directly to the Superior Court judge that is handling this case, which is Judge Earl Glanville. So, I'll do it, Your Honor. Right, certainly. So the order of the court on today is that he's been put on notice. He's not gotten a first appearance in that particular situation because he is indicted. He is not sub subject just to a warrant, uh, and it was not a warrantless arrest. So that is where we stand at this time. Uh, Mr. Williams, I'm sure your attorney will reach out to you and give you further indication of what needs to happen in your case. All right, thank you, yeah. sir.